You think Damn, this feel very crazy. nice, man. I put all the effort I went to to vote. arrange a plea deal for you with special mm -hmm. concessions for your plea deal. Yeah. You're causing shit for the DOC. I literally haven't done anything. What are you talking about? That is the biggest cap bro. Knocked me down in it. I had Sunny as a 95. He knocked me down, went through my pockets, was touching all my shit, tried to pull a few things out, but hey, guess you're what? You're scared. Fucking, you're such a liar. You got you're scared. Such a liar, I gave this guy you're the nicest plea deal because he helped me drain a cadet. See what I mean? By getting caught for drug trafficking. <laughs> they're, so, they're so nice of you, Sean. They're nice. so kind. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I don't know what this guy's talking about, but he's a liar. I didn't take a single thing from his pockets. I didn't even... I was asleep in myself, fam. Bro. You got... Honestly, you got, it's honestly you kind got of proof? disgusting. You got a you beautiful got plea deal in your life. this? <laughs> Yikes. Well, the thing is, it doesn't matter. You won a bunk flip. I won a bunk flip? All right, no problem. You yeah, say less. Okay, excellent. Um, You guys are all good from your side. Um, I guess Sonny's the only guy I'll probably put in that sec. Because it's Sonny. Yeah. Ah, well, pussy he, out. He put him in like a box. Just like a, like a cardboard box. Is that legal? I mean... We can put him in this dark, box over dark, here, like a metal dark, box. Dark, you smell like you a can lock the doors up. Yeah, just put him in a box, a yeah. Use, put him in a box, yeah. Jeez, a great Officer Greyhair, right. we've never met before. I'd like to know your name. I'll then get your dirty paws off me. Did you just call Sorry, him what, 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 what the fuck did you just say? Officer Greyhair. Oh, no. Uh, generic SoundCloud rapper is what I'll call you, sir. Generic, generic, generic. Yes, yes, yes. One just so mad, channel two. Good work, so... Thanks for the backup, Lucy. No problem. Did you, uh... You, you detective now? Uh, detective supervisor, actually. Oh, hell yeah, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. I, I told Brian, and I was like, I'm not sure if I have the experience to just go for that right away but then he just started referring to me as a supervisor and i'm like okay i guess you're just deciding all right there you go nice well done yeah. well congrats you deserve it lucy put a lot of hard work in so thank you yeah <laughs> i locked lucy in <laughs> <coughs> Dude, it's cough. Let's come back. Four hundred back tonight. Uh situation at prison is code four. <laughs> what? There's twelve cops on duty. Oh, there was an interesting change I noticed this morning. I didn't even get to think about it, really. Max made an announcement, a PD announcement this morning. Um, I can't even remember what it was. Hold on. I can't remember what the whole announcement was. Let me read it. Do, 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 do. Um, something, something. Yeah, so part of it was MCU SOPs was, have been posted for UPD. Um, the first thing was 
uh, our esteemed senators have delegated the responsibility of oversight for the DOC and EMS to the commissioner's office. That's kind of crazy. That's a big change. So Bass is now the head of DOC and EMS. I don't know what that entails, but that's... I don't... I don't know uh, how the EMS slash DOC are feeling about that. <laughs> I don't know if they got a say in it or not, but... Um, yeah, that's another one. And then there was just some, uh, you know, do your job announcements. That's fun. <laughs> uh, b -b 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 give me some nah 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 The ambassador new assistant. Uh, yeah, I think like a deputy commissioner would be cool. Um, but he's also stepping back from troopers. I think that needs to happen probably sooner rather than later. Uh, yeah, I wonder if it's like a choice of his or whether he's just kind of been pushed into it. Deputy Commissioner Rhodes. Round the what? They've been on that pursuit for a long time. Vehicle slowing left. U turn, U turn, U turn. Three primer. Southbound power. You need 77s. Around the world, around the world, and the... I don't think it's gonna be Kyle. Could <laughs> he still be under bass? Anyone want that? <coughs> Fuck me. Anybody we need some welfare check? He messes at the casino apparently. A tea's cold. Fuck. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Drainer. <laughs> Let's go ride with Drainer. Take Nancy's advice. Radio check. Chancho. What's the chasers going through the assault currently? Do they have enough units? Yeah, I checked. They don't need any 77s. Oh, lovely. Okay. That's only active currently. So, yeah. Super LT is, yeah, 100%. Did they get rid of the barriers too?
Yep. Nope. That is uh that is a hundred percent. That is a hundred percent what goes on, right? So, yeah, we uh, I mean, I I stay the I stay the. Oh, you know what? Uh, fuck! I thought I heard something. No. Uh. So anyway, uh, th there's this there's this whole area. It's like a it's like a cannibal camp, right? And I will not touch that fucking place. You go up there, the men have their dicks just oh, like woo, just out there, just woo, woo, just hot, just hot and ready, right? And then they get naked, but they wear t-shirts. It's a thing. It's like I don't understand. Like, why are you gonna wear a t-shirt, but you're gonna have your dick hang off? Hang on. They're just, just wiggling all day. Yeah, they, they're just. It's, the wogglers, is it? and, and the thing is, the guys are so old. It's like. It, it, you know what it reminds me of? You know how you could tell, like a like a tree is old by the rings it has in it. It's like you could tell how old these guys by how far their sack hangs. I tell you what, I mean that is a thing with older men though. You have to say, you know, you see someone crouching down at the beach that's about seventy. You could literally cut them off with a pair of scissors, or anybody. I swear. It, yeah, right. I mean that's that's crazy. Oh, hello. <coughs> oh, she's fucking <laughs> This one's got some good jokes. Ask her about the, ask her about, uh, ask her, I, I stopped by the comedy club yesterday. Uh, and, and she ended up telling me, what, what kind of jokes were those? Like, Lyrim, Limerick. Okay, go ahead. Wait, I don't get that one. Why would it wear the hair off his cheek? No, right, what is that? that you'd have to breathe on. Why don't you can't you can't explain it? Well, you know, I'm a. I, don't know. I just it, it's like you know. You, you have to be there, darling. It's you nice know, there. see. I have a, I have the opposite perspective with jokes. I feel like a joke's not funny unless you explain it. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, oh my hi. God. Good, mor good morning, Ashley. Morning. Good morning, uh, Trina. Uh, Trina. This is uh, Trevor. What is it? Hello, darling. How are you doing? Good. Hi, Malta. Good to see you. Oh, you mean, uh, okay, I'll I head down you? there, okay? All right, two cock, cock meals, oh, please. Two large cocks? What, any place for large cocks? cocks? <laughs> tea, please. Oh, uh, I bet you take those large cocks, don't you, sir? You just want tea? What did you, what tea did you say? I'm sorry, just, this gentleman just was talking. Just one. Uh, black, black just, tea, please. Black tea, just one large cock, though, did you say? Uh, two large cocks, Two please. large cocks. Okay, two darling. Large cocks. Uh, but, but all you want is that you make sure that I've got like, black tea and then both, is it? Yes, yes, please. Right, okay. Sorry, it takes a while sometimes. It is Monday. That's all right, Malfa. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today, yeah. Ashton? Yeah, not too bad, Trevor. How are you? Uh, doing good, doing good. You know, just, uh, you know, I haven't, started my ten I haven't started my shift yet. Not officially 41. I uh, decided to come up here, grab some food, drink some and what do I got here? I got some tea as well. I got black tea. Wow. Well, what's in your mouth? Drink some, uh, this black is a tea. cigarillo. Black tea. Did you want black tea? Yes, please. Oh, sorry, it's, I'm getting confused. <laughs> what uh, What other options for tea do you have? Green tea, so maybe. maybe? I, I have like the green stuff. And, you like uh, tea? There's a whole tea shop. Green stuff is high in antioxidants, right? Can you can you do me a favor, darling, it. And, and flash your ID up for me? My ID, sure can. And yeah. what what is your call sign, darling? Four hundred. It's dark. What did you say? Yes. Twelve hundred. Four hundred. No, four hundred. Oh, sorry, every time you talk, this gentleman's talking. I'm, so, I'm I, sorry. I'm sorry. That it's is, all right. I apologize. It's, it's all right. So, it's just I'm, that I don't want Mr. Dark to think I'm playing him about. No, no, I would never think 400, that. Four hundred. Four hundred. Oh, we're about to mug you off there, ass chief. You know what mug, mugging off is, Trevor? Yeah, yeah. Snow explained it to me yesterday. Oh. He was teaching me proper English. There you go, darling. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, Martha. There. Yep. Watch this. Yep. I even learned more. Uh, don't be a cunt. Yeah, that's hey, good to yeah. know. That's <laughs> pretty good. good 
Yeah. Pretty good, huh? And uh, <laughs> yeah. give me the bees. The bee? Yeah, I don't know what that is. What's that? that give me the bees. Is it cock, you know about the, 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 the bees? Knees? No, like. Give me the, the knees. Why would you want the knees? What's the, what's it Cockney rhyming slang for? I, I thought it was money or something. The bees. Bees and honey. The money. Oh, money. We see, that, oh, yeah, see. that's probably yeah. after my time, darling. Oh. I'm a bit more old school than that. My dad would laugh at that if he heard that. Oh, okay. Um, do you know what? Do you know what an Aris is? No, no. Aris. It's 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 like it's your ass. Your Aris, but it's not like it's it's not short for us. <laughs> it's like um, it, well, it's Aris. It's Aristotle, but rhymes with bottle, bottle and glass. That's that's a long Cockney rhyming slang. Gosh. So your Aris, I know some of them are a bit more, you know. So if you hear someone say Aris, Aristotle, bottle, bottle, glass, ass, yeah. Mm -hmm. Apples and pears. <laughs> yeah, up the stairs. It's an easy yeah. one, Trevor. Come on. Yeah, that's an easy I, well, one. That's not easy. That's not easy for. An American like myself, it makes no fucking sense. Where are you from, it's Trevor? It's just rhyming. You know about poems, don't ya? Yeah, I do. Uh, San Fierro. Where's that? West Coast. It's north of here. Would you West like to hear another poem? poem? Hello, darling. Would you like yes, to please. Me? Are you Hi. waiting? Uh, yeah. Can I just grab a the San Fierro Valley, the good you old SFE. You ever heard the term? Yes, you know the please. term Valley Girl? Okay, oh yeah. That's uh. That's the that's. The exact city I'm from, where the you're, valley girl you're originated. Valley girl. Well, my mom was a valley girl. <laughs> you're a valley boy. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> hey, you. what's oh, up, bro? You want to go hit the sidewalks this weekend and surf? Sidewalk surfing. Oh, gnarly, you sound bro. like Finn. Who the fuck That's is Finn? Hey, valley boy. Point. Apparently. <clears throat> you want to go grind some food at In and Out or what, dude? <laughs> Just Take put a little gravel into it, it and you really will me. sound like Finn. Yep. Who the fuck is Finn? He works at the burger shot. Hey, what's the other one? Are you having a bubble? Is that is that are you having a bubble? Is that something? Glory's the cock bay. Yeah, having a bubble. No mate, no mate says that aloud. Bubble bath, laugh. Yeah. Like you having a laugh? You so having a bubble. Exactly. <laughs> Are you having a fucking bubble, mate? Exactly. The, I mean, the thing is, if if you if uh, if you're ever here and me and Nomad are here together, you won't understand what the fuck we're going on about most of the time. Because uh, that's sort of how it is, oh. really. Yeah. I, uh, I've decided. It's like a code. Uh, I'm going to dive into uh, football. I think I'm going to become football. A, yeah, football. <laughs> um, I'm I'm torn right now. I don't know. I don't know which team I should like though. Right. Well. I don't, I don't really like any football of them. that much. I find it quite pointless, so everyone can have a go at me. Yeah, me too. That's how I feel. <laughs> I feel way, it it's a bit pointless, to be fair. Sports in general are pointless, or? No, I'm not sports <laughs> in general. I do like a bit of darts and snooker, but I mean, you know, that's that's a little bit more, you know. You, well, you, neither you can... one of those are team sports, though. Of course it is. How can you not be? Is? What? Darts? Darts is. You can have a darts uh -huh, team. Have a, a team. A darts two people, team. though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I used to play darts all the time. Well, the thing I find about the okay, so the thing about the large organized team sports is it builds a sense of community. Yeah. I mean, as much as people don't like it, you know, even if the communities are toxic, it's like, hey, you know, you feel like you're a part of this thing and you're mm -hmm. all rooting together yeah. for something. It's like you obviously don't know about like, the dark community. I don't. Actually, you <laughs> know what I? Yeah. You know what I just found right. out about the professional yeah. cornhole. One hundred and eighty. <laughs> Cornhole. The professional. Cornhole. That cornhole? is a total thing. Yes. There, apparently What's cornhole? There's, cornhole yeah, what is Cornhole is you get bean bag. Okay. There's like this slab of wood and it's yeah. angled like it up. I want to say yeah. it's like a 30 degree angle and it has a hole in it. And you have to throw yeah. bean bags in it from 20 yards away. What? Why? Yeah. It's like a drunken American thing. It wouldn't make sense. <laughs> I see. And you do that a lot. No, I don't do that. I didn't. I oh. thought it was the damnedest thing. It's it's huge. It's more of a yeah. bar game. You know, that's why actually? you said darts. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They I have mean, it at bars that's a bit stuff. of a palaver having to find a wood with a bit of a hole and everything like that. You could just get a bucket. Like. Yeah, it's similar to, you know, horseshoes. You ever play horseshoes? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. It's more of like a modern horseshoe thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I suppose. I suppose. But you could just get a bucket. Well, it's different. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Like dar darts, you could just get a piece of pipe. Yeah. I mean, when you're on the beach, it's nice to put one of the buckets down the beach and try and get a stone in it. I like to do that. 
Oh my god, I thought you were gonna say put a bucket in the sand and piss in it. <laughs> what? Why would you think I that? You think that? Well, I don't. You go to the yeah. B. Is it okay? Okay, so oh, here's the thing. I just look the tide. I don't know. I thought just look the tide. No, it's is not. It? It's not your tide. Is it acceptable uh, to pee in the ocean? I don't know. Fish do it. Fish do it. Do they? Exactly. We think so alike, babe. Do you know <laughs> Wait, what I mean? I think we fish? might be each other. Do you fish pee? <laughs> Of course they do. They piss. Yeah. They what do, do they drink? Well, they shit. They, they drink. Well, they, well, they, they probably drink water. Shit. What do you think? And they shit in the water. So <laughs> yeah, they shit. Urine's it? not going to hurt anyone. And now it's a long string. Oh, string Stark! Stuff. I got something for you. I need to give you this. I don't know. Somebody you got something for me. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. What is it? Um, that is for you. This is a goldfish. Yes. Yeah, somebody. Somebody gave him to me yesterday. He said it was very special to him. He said his name was William. Oh. Is it, is it alive? Yeah, it's alive. William Gunner, a guy by the name of Michael huh? gave it to me. Who? Michael. Michael who? Like Simon. What? Mm, Michael Simone. Yeah. Okay. That's, everybody, yeah, that's one. Back White away hair, from the face. kind of a freak. Like, back away from the, everybody, back away from the face. Back, what? What? Uh, 400, can I get a, a bomb squad? Uh, I need a bomb squad to Rooster's Rest. Uh, there is a goldfish. I need someone to check it for a bomb. What kind of goldfish? It's, it's a goldfish. It was given to uh, Trevor by Michael Simone. <laughs> okay. What? He doesn't have a bomb, Richard. You saying what that about Michael Simone if... gave him a bomb? Michael Simone gave him a goldfish. What about if there's a bomb in the goldfish? And he said he's going to give it to me. So what about if it was a gift to me and it's his bomb? What is this about, sir? Richard, I, I love you, but I got one of those goldfish yesterday and it was... Hold on, hold on. I got a call. I even bought I, a it's, I've had it in my pocket for like two days. It's okay. It's fine. It's a good, it's a good goldfish, sir. Yeah, I promise you'll be fine. Okay. All right. Thank you. We're good, guys. Sorry. Hey, sorry about hey, that. Sorry for the delay, dude. I'm, We're uh... good. Sorry, we're all clear. Gosh, what a hero! We're all clear. It's just a goldfish. Okay. You sure? Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's oh, just a goldfish. Jesus Christ! You, know, you don't want you. I feel like maybe I should take it back. If you're Send gonna... it. You know what? Yeah, Send maybe that's a good idea. A you should get uh, that into like a bowl. Maybe we get a bowl for that. It's in a plastic bag. Oh. It won't survive. There's not enough oxygen. Well, that's. Okay. We're on channel mm. one. Is mm. you need more information. Mm. What These are you doing? Bob shaped french fries are so good. Oh, great. Okay. Thank squad. God. I thought you were eating the goldfish. I don't know why. I will volunteer. No, no. Why would I eat the goldfish? Ew. You give me those kind of vibes, Trevor. I, what, what does that even mean? I've, I, help you with it. Sir, I, want, I want to make it known that I am a. Uh, I exceed. I go above and beyond for anything. Really? Above and beyond. Really? Go ahead. Check my reports. Check my reports. I'm going to go check his reports, guys. It was, it was nice to see you, too. Uh, it was well, nice to Mr. see you. Dark, Mr. Dark, yeah? Richard, can I just have a quick talk? Uh, just, yes, it's, of course it's you right. can. It's just that I did look on my phone earlier, and you probably know what I'm going to say, but I did check that job that you gave me like a, quite a while check. back, and it's disappeared. Yeah. Is that not going on anymore? Have they decided not to go um, forward with it's, it? It is going forward, but in a different way. It's, um, oh, right. Okay, then. If you want to do it, uh, as long as there's a dispatcher on duty, you can just go down to Mission Road and say, I want to do 911 operator, and you can go do it. That's it. Oh, okay, then. So, how do I, I mean, how do I go about it, though? Because that sounds quite, you know, simplistic, just walk in and say, yeah, I'll do this job. Well, as long as I'm around, uh, we should be able to get you sorted. And then all you do is answer the phone, and I'll give you a quick right, training okay. session, and uh, yeah. and you'll be good to go. So it will be like what you wanted to do before. It's not complicated, is it? Do no, I just pick up the phone and, and say, what's the matter? Is that You it? say, 911, what's, what's your emergency? Yeah, you matter? got it. Yeah. Okay, then. All right, then. All right, then. So get down, get down. Right, thank you, darling. Oh. Where's the bomb? Brandon, we're okay. Where's the bomb? Oh, God. We're okay, Brandon. It's, it's gone. It's, it's, it's gone. We're good, yeah. Oh, oh, shit, sir. I'm so sorry. No, no oh, I appreciate it. Thank you for the... Oh, a bit delayed, but thank you for the backup. Oh, gosh, that's <laughs> okay, gosh. I know you need some Whoa. sun cream on that, don't you think? That's gonna get mm -hmm. proper. Yeah. You need to put your hat on. And no, no, no. I Listen, think. this yes, beautiful no. bald ass head with these beautiful Ray Bans with the beautiful beard or I mean, actually yes, chin strap. I mean, okay, that's perfect. 
if you look golden, Jesus Christ, I, I just really. worry about your health. What? You know, if you go out in the sun like that, you're going to come back with your head looking like some kind of margarita pizza, aren't you? You know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah, okay, like, you know what? I was going to get food here, but since you're just making fun of me, I ain't getting food <laughs> I'm here not, no more. I'm about <laughs> no, him. no. Ooh, <laughs> I was worried about him. He's only a youngin. He's only a youngin. All right, we're we're gonna go. I'll see you guys later. All right. Okay. Come on, Trevor. Actually, you wanna? Um, I need to go down to the Jewel Dragon. Uh, Michael Bloom was telling me about magic rings they have down there. Louis Bloom. No, there's no magical rings. There's not. He's lying. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no such thing as magical rings. Where's your Where's your car at? Oh, there it is. Uh, uh, meet me, Mr. Marvel. I'll see you down okay. there. Okay, I'll see ya. What do you do, Jack? I hear you holding Maddox on our roof, Mr. Marvel. Yeah. How did he get up there? I, I, I don't know. I heard a bike, and then I heard some crashing, and all of a sudden I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Careful if you come through the door, he's right next to the door. I don't know, lethal. Yeah, he's no he's that the he's behind the fence right here to the least. We can jump down to the second helipad. Oh no, he's at the door now. <laughs> My tea's cold. I think I need to heat it up. And I hate doing that. But... He just fell. Oh, his bike's up here on the south side of the roof. How does he keep doing this? He jumped down to the bike and he's injured himself. MS from Petey. <laughs> I'll bring him down. <laughs> yeah, I'll deal with the bike. <laughs> Oh, I'm bringing him down with the bike. Oh, 10 4. Wicked. EMS, can I get you in the parking lot? My god, oh, dude. Four. Ugh. Actually, let me, let me put this away. Hello? Hi. Who's there? Samantha Sanders. Oh. Hi. You come through the pedestrian access gate. Yep. Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. What are you talking about? Oh, they're over there. Okay. He said no balls. Dark. Yes. Be careful. You should clear out the parking lot really quickly. Why? I'm coming down with Holden. Oh. The fool. Victor with 2352. Oh, I'm pretty good. Ooh. I made it. <laughs> ember mugs oh god oh no if you, i heard if you say ember mugs three times in the mirror uh curvy appears behind you you will be theoretical i will do a terrorist attack on on my floor what I, 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 Ethan pushed me off the roof, but he's in the small not true. ledge. He was on the roof again, Dark. He, he I don't pushed know me off the roof. How do we go in? I'm being boisterous. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't mean to be. How he did you get on the roof? He fell down. I, I will never tell you. Yeah, he used another bike. He keeps using bikes, and I don't know how he does it. I will not. I will not utter my Check secrets the unless I receive ten thousand dollars. Yo, he did. He did. He the bike was on the roof. I I I, 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 I got you. I, I am. I will. I will. I am. I am I'm an expert motorcycle wait, rider. Wait, 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 hold on. You, you go so test this out, dog. You'll tell us your secrets and how you're getting the bikes up there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I mean, this is how we do it. Fuck! Close! Dark? I'm okay! Okay, Holden just jumped through the windows into Mason Road. I think what he did, honestly, because I'm coming from the north, maybe he took like that um, that garage uh, right here on center where you can get on the rooftop and then somehow jumped on the roof like that from the northern side on the cross street from Alti Street. Dispatch 205. I just had a phone call with Reed Dankley if he has a pretty large warrant out for his arrest. <laughs> Uh, he does have a bank tracker as well. Uh, I'm gonna try. I need to speak to Richard. He reads warrants for 1400 months contempt of court, uh, in parole violation. Hi, Jerry. Hey, I uh, Reed's got a big warrant. I was just speaking to him on the phone. I just paid for the billboard that I got from the Yokai house, which is <laughs> fucking funny. There's a big picture of me across from the Yokai house saying, fuck races. Uh, they are, they're cringe or something. Uh, fuck street races and, uh, buy, uh, flight lessons at RX. Okay, you told me about they that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you? now, uh, so, so I was paying him for that, hey, but then I he's got a massive warrant. Okay. He said he was going to go up to okay, Einhold, you wanted to talk, but sir? I don't know if he's actually going to do that, and I kind of want to watch it. Can I put a ghillie suit on and watch Einhold for a bit? Yes, go for it. All right, thank you very much. All right, let me know how it goes. All right, appreciate you. Bye-bye. Come on, Trevor, I'll bomb. Okay. Don't don't grab my waist. Hands in the air, please. I don't I don't swing that way, sir. Just Nobody does until they until they see me, Trevor. I don't think that's necessary. I'm not I'm not sexually attracted to you, sir. Come on, you Trevor. Ah you're, we you're need hitting to it at the right. We have a security issue, uh... That's you, that's easy, sir. You're you're hitting it from the wrong angle. Oh, oh, really, the, Trevor? Really? Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, fine. Here. Listen, you can, you, you can take the keys and you, you can drive it. What is fine. That? Go on in. Get it on the I roof. Right. Okay. If you do it, I'll give you five grand. I don't think I can, sir. I'm not... Come on, Cheddar would do this in a heartbeat. Cheddar would do this. Let's go, Trav Piper. Are you watched? Embarrassing. Trevor! <laughs> Trev, you right, mate? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you missed speeding. Hello? Uh, we need 1052 in the, uh... Okay, I think I'm okay, oh, sir. No, no, we're good. Um, just... I'm coming back up. Just, we might need you in a, in a small amount of time. Uh, but, but thank you for your work, and uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. One, to clock out the volunteers since they're doing this on duty. You can stay if you want to. Thank you, Mara. Come on. <laughs> Latest nine one one is probably holding. He was just saying something about doing a terrorism you got this trevor do you see the 911 sir yeah yeah it's probably uh probably the old man that got on the roof um because it came from came from this area 
probably holding Maddox. What do you mean probably? Do, do we have him in custody? Yeah. Negative. He's, he's upset he's at outside. Turo because hey, Turo bro. had to take a cadet and couldn't stay there. No. All right, let's uh. Yeah, he called me a slut. Like. Three three bring this motorcycle down to the park and like, I think it's, I don't uh, know how it was going up, but he might be. Yeah. It's broken. Yeah, it's broken, sir. Oh, just, just call it down for him. Okay. Yeah. Not seeing Holden outside of MRPD anymore, but yeah, just keep an eye out for him. He was telling me in Turo he wanted to do terrorism in the hospital as well. Is he in the back oh, of anybody's car? He's, he's hiding behind a tree. <laughs> no, he was out in the front, uh, as chief. Oh, he is. He. Everybody. You don't. You don't. There's, there's, there's oh, there is. Yes, uh, I am. I am testing the cadet. Is, is she's on her uh, uh, her final uh, eval, and I am. I am to check see if she ascertained the correct procedure. Uh, who who's on their final eval? Uh, 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 David Beckham. David, but Be I don't think David Beckham's a cop. I think he means Haley. No. Hey! What the hell, hold on! Careful, Dark, he's an old man. He's I'm an old sorry, man. Sorry, I got I got confused. I thought he was lunging at me. Jesus Christ, he's an old That's man. That's an easy mistake, Mike. I I have I have I have served multiple years. I know how to deal with recruits. Now stand straight, young man. I don't. What? Attention. What, what What do you mean, stand straight? Wash your mouth. You want me to wash it? Uh, you will not piss in the pool. I did pee in the pool yesterday for that I announcement. I told you he was one of those. I figured somebody would pee in the yeah. pool. I, the fuck you. I, peed. I peed in the pool. Why did you do that? Probably not the only one, to be honest. How come it's there somewhat was... acceptable to pee while you're in the pool, but you can't pee directly into a pool? It's more of the savagery of what you're doing, young man. Yeah, it's, it's like savagery. the discretion, it's like the, 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 the sound, like the dripping, you know, like the... The piss heat here in the water is just no bad. drips here, sir. I got a very strong prostate that comes oh. out like a jet stream. But I think Gravity being in the edge. pool also risks a UTI. Yes, and you're adding aeration to the piss as well. You're making it bubbly. Yeah. Disgusting. No better. Isn't that good oxygen in the water. What? Nobody. The cadet. The cadet. The cadet. The cadet. I will. I will. I will. I will make sure that she she knows what she's doing. Okay. Oh, well, I mean. You know, as long as Turo's okay with that. Yes, he said it's exemplary for me as a as a major of the the eleventh stars to train a cadet. Dispatch five twenty eight ten eight. Yes, I no, will I take I will you. take this one as well. No, no, no. I'm not going with this old gentleman. Oh my! Then like Holden. Are you okay? Holden good. Trainer? What's really good? He's... What? Belongs in a home. Yo, yo, oh dang! <clears throat> what? Hey. Oh, the old gang. That's right. I remember you guys the other day. Hold it. Uh, as he's saying that his answer is a training exercise. El cop. El cop. He's, he's trying to help. Get off the car, sir. You're El vandalizing cop. our vehicle. Oh. Oh my. Yes, I finna see you on the outside, and I finna blast on you, mate. Sandy Shores at the moment looking for Reed Dankley. Okay, sir, did you did you want to have that? Call? What do we need off. to have a conversation about? Uh, he's got a big warrant. No, I just wanted to uh, chat with you, Trevor. Come on, come on. It's probably related, okay. but. Do you want backup for that now? Ah! Oh, fuck! I don't know. Hey! Yet. I'm not sure Jesus if Christ. anyone's even around, so let me go check that out first and see what I can say. Hey, you alright, Drainer? Yeah, let me, yeah. Let me know if you need help. Fucking old. Dude. Thank I you. swear to God, there's that other old fuck. Both these. What's what's what the old fucks in this town? Well, they're yeah, they're pretty crazy. We don't really have great mental health care here, you know. Parsons is just where Are we anywhere in America? <clears throat> they need to check. Hmm. What are you checking, Trevor? To see if we got that raid on the other person we submitted a warrant on. Are you raiding people already? Yeah. Yeah, I raided someone on my third day. Uh, who, wow. Who who was it? 
I was, I was some small time criminal. Apparently she used to work for the SDSO, but uh, I responded to a deadly weapon call in Sandy Shores because nobody was responding to it. And mm -hmm. I went up there and I found an officer being wheeled away in a wheelchair by an individual with a cat mask on. The guy was an absolute fucking lunatic. His name was like Cat Kitsworth or Kit Cats, where I can't remember, something like that. And uh, he believed he was a cat and he talked like, I would assume a cat would talk, but then I took his mask off and he had this deep, ominous voice and he talked about how he was next and all this other shit. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Do what you got to do. Um, I ended up taking a gun off of him. And the gun that he had belonged to someone named Lonnie. And that individual was on the original scene, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. So I actually called her down to the office and I was like, hey, I need to question you about the situation that just happened, even though I wasn't going to question her, I was going to arrest her. So I ended up arresting her. I find out she doesn't have a weapons license and that she lost it two weeks ago. So I submitted a search warrant for her properties because she shouldn't have any of those guns if whatever. Um, anyway, she, she declines. Like I, I try to work out a deal where I'm like, look, just let me go in there. If I find anything, like I'm not necessarily, well, we'll work out a deal that way. I don't have to wait for the search warrant. You don't have to fucking sit in the cells for an hour. And she's like, nope. So I said, okay. So I type up the warrant. It gets approved. And Serge Cross was hesitant to even approve it, but he ended up doing it. And, uh, all I found in there was a racing dongle and I come back to uh, the office. I go to release her. And as I'm walking out, I overhear, why do you have a gun belong belonging to Lonnie on you? So I got her on two counts of criminal negligence, criminal, criminal, uh, what is it? Negligence, uh, owner negligence, negligence of a, yeah, negligence of a firearm. Yeah. Yeah. So it. two counts on that. And then last wow. night. I was on duty with Michael Bloom, and we ended up pulling Lu some guy. Louis. Is it? He told me his name was Michael. No, it's Lu Louis Bloom. Okay, I was on duty with Louis Bloom, and we ended up pulling a guy over for speeding. And uh, so we detained him, pulled him out of the car, started having a conversation with him. Um, come to find out that he had fake plates on his vehicle. So then, uh, I mean, we didn't even put him in cuffs. We were just kind of like, hey, work with us, work with us. Um, he gives us permission to search the vehicle. We find a gun in the vehicle. I run it. Hot gun. Hot potato gun. Comes back Rude. to a gang shooting. Yeah, and he said, look, I don't know. I usually keep guns in my cars. Oh. Boom. Boom. Grounds for another search warrant. So Bloom ended up submitting one last night after we interrogated the guy. We didn't tell him shit, but I don't know. I'm trying to remember his name. His name was... Zoe starts with a Z. Yeah, Zoe Levi. Uh, Very impressive. Like... Uh, so, yeah, just trying to do my best, sir. You've been a cop before, Trevor? Have I been caught before? A cop before, a policeman. Yeah, yeah, three, three years. Three years in St. Fair, two years DOC. Um, yeah. St. Fair Sheriff's Office. So the way it works over there is before you even get the, your boots on the ground um, or you're on duty, you got to serve two years in the county jail. That's, that's quite the program. Yeah, it actually works out well, right? So you get to work with inmates. You already get to understand that prisoners don't have rights. And if they step out of line, you just give them the boots medium style. And uh, you make sure that right. when you're beating the fuck out of them, you don't hit them in the face in case they have court coming up. No visible bruises is the goal. And you, you did that? Uh, well, I mean, if they're in jail, yeah. Obviously, you can't do that to somebody on the streets. Obviously, obviously. Um, okay. Um... I got a real resentment again. Well, not even a resentment. I get what would that be? I have a distaste, dislike, dislike for disdain for people who are in jail. So like Bass, we, Bass, somebody attacked Bass in jail the other day and he said, don't shoot, but I still shot. Oh, you disobeyed a direct order. Well, I didn't, I, it was more like, he's like, don't sh And then I shot immediately because I thought, Oh, so you didn't thought, actually disobey. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I respect the cock, sir. Okay. 
did this in testing. Okay, it's good to hear. Listen, I, I wanted to touch base, uh, Trevor, because, you know, I've just heard, I've heard good things, you know. Thank you, sir. So I wanted to, you know, meet the man, I guess. Um, so you, you were hired by, um, was, it, was it Bass? Yeah, you want the honest to God truth? Yeah. Uh, I kind of weaseled my way in. Right. Um, I, I just showed up here and said I had a, uh, interview with someone and I just kept applying pressure until somebody gave me an interview. I see. Yeah, it was, I went like this. Like I showed up here, put a nice suit on, uh, a tie. It was a, I think it was a blue suit with a, a red power tie, you know? And, uh, I just came down here and said, Hey, I got an interview at 11 and it was 10 30. And they're like, do you know who it was with? I was like, ah, some high-ranking guy. And then somebody goes, oh, did the guy sound like Jason Statham? I was like, oh, yep, that's him. He's like, oh, you're talking about Stubble. I was like, oh, yep, it was Stubble. Oh my so God. then uh, Stubble comes down here, and he goes, uh, do you have an, uh, he's like, you got an interview? Who scheduled this? I was like, oh, it's some high-ranking guy. And he goes, oh, is he bald? I was like, yep, that's the guy. He's like, oh, Sam Bass. I said, okay. He's like, oh, I'll give you your interview. So then I gave, I got the interview and uh, passed with flying colors. And um, they just hired me. So, social engineering at its, at its finest? Yes, yeah, um, sir. They asked what my greatest gift was. I said, well, you know, it's the, uh, it's the gift of gab. I've got a silver <laughs> tongue. Well, I can tell. And uh, I, I, I told tell. them, I said, you know, I said, uh, I said, I didn't even have an interview. I just weaseled my way into this interview. And, you know, I was talking to somebody else who said they've been on a waiting list. And here I am getting interviewed. What? Mental I warfare, got... manipulation at its finest. You know? In a good way, you know. Yeah, it's not like I don't think it's harming anybody. So that's, you know, that's good. Um, okay. Well, that's about the story. Um, well, what's, what's your goals, Trevor? What's, what's your plan? Uh, l listen, I, I guess here's, here's what I'm looking to do. Um, I, I'm just, uh, I'm here to do a job first and foremost. I do enjoy helping. I want to fill the gaps and kind of, uh, just be where I'm needed to be. Okay. That's pretty good. I'll be honest, you, you, you seem like the kind of man with aspirations. So it surprises me that, you know. I guess it, it kind of sounds like, I don't know, Trevor. You, you sure you don't want anything more than that? What do you mean anymore? Give me, give me some, uh, give me some options. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I just, you know, a lot of people like when I came into the the PD, my goal was to be a detective. You know, you don't have a goal like that. Your goal is to just, uh, I guess, make it a day job, just uh, help out where you can. No, I, I think you're, I think you're misunderstanding, right? Obviously, obviously there is, you know, promotion's good. I want to climb the ranks, but I can't make that my sole focus. All I could do is, uh, it's kind of like a day by day basis. I show, I come to work. Um, I'd be a worker amongst workers. I, I fill in where I can. If something's missing somewhere, I fill in. And, uh, you know, I mean, if I, if I end up climbing the ranks to, like you say, a detective or something else, I get it. If not, it's all good. You know, eventually I'll find my way. I'm not saying like, Hey, I, I, I'm just, I'm just here to do the bare minimum. It's like, I want to go above and beyond. I want, I feel like if, if you have somebody who's, who you're working with and you see them, and uh, they are working hard. You are also more inclined to work hard along with them because it's like, you know, foster like this, this good community of like, hey, you're yeah. working hard. We're working hard. There's uh, rewards that come out of it, incentives. And guess what? You know, along with that comes maybe a little competition, friendly competition. Oh, you're the best. Now I got to work harder to be just as good as you, you know? Why like him, chat? Why do I like him? Okay. All right. That sounds good. Well, um, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to sit in your car, if you don't mind, and and I'm going to see how, how good you really are, because I've heard things, so uh, I'd like to see it firsthand. <clears throat> yeah, let's go do it. Let's go check it out. Okay. <clears throat> um, sure, I got he's like, he's like Gunner like without oh, the, let me grab a vest. the poop, you know? Ah.
It's like Gunnar wasn't intended to be charismatic, I don't think, but Trav came out of him. Trav, like, spilled out of Gunnar, I and mean, this is more Trav's charisma, like, built into a character. Gunna was supposed to be grotesque? Yes. 100%. He is really like, but 100%, yeah. I don't want to, like, force anything, though. That's why I kind of just want to... I just want to ride with him. I don't want to be like, hey, you want to... You want to join? Jackie? Hey. Um... Had an idea. Well, it's my idea. Um... If I... Do you remember when I used to go in the jewelry store with Ziggy and go dress as a local? Yeah. And uh, and then pretend a lot of people just turned up. And then pretend, uh, you know, that I'm a local and then wait for them to come in. Do you think that's like an okay thing to do nowadays or no? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, you know. Most of these sociopaths don't talk to anybody anyway, so as long as they don't try and talk to you, I'm sure you'll be fine. <clears throat> you know, and they, but if they do talk to you, then I hope you've got like a good accent or something, you know? <laughs> Dude, yesterday I was in the back of Trevor's trunk when he was getting a fish from Michael Simone. And, yeah. um, and then uh, I sneezed because it was really dusty, and they said, Snow? <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. So you must have that British sneeze going. Yes. <laughs> okay. I got sneeze ID, Richard. Yeah, there's something. Okay, yeah, go for it. Um, just be safe. I guess uh, what I do is to kind of have a contact. Lucy's a uh, uh, MCU supervisor, so it's probably good to if you're gonna have anyone kind of involved to keep you safe. Probably hires a good good shout. <clears throat> All right. Cool, cool, cool. I appreciate it. All right, but go for it. All right. Bye see bye. You about I think Snow is going um, deep undercover to catch uh, Reed Dankleaf. Oh yeah, so Snow and I actually you, we. Uh, uh, I'm I'm assuming that came that from something like Snow and I were working know. on yesterday. By the way, uh, did you hit him on a parole violation? Well, no. So I was doing a. Uh, I've, I've been I've been trying to investigate a few people here, and uh, I decided to start up a, uh, a fake delivery business. Where I was delivering mm. pizzas because wow. uh, from what I understand, a lot of criminals order illegal things via telephone, right? And uh, somebody asked me yesterday, they said, I need a pizza with bananas. Okay. So what does that mean? Because obviously nobody's going to order a pizza with bananas. And uh, you know, I, I I did my best. I couldn't I couldn't make it happen. And uh, I think banana might be code for gun. So Snow and I, we we didn't we didn't get the one with bananas. Obviously, we just got two pineapples and we dropped them off at the Iron Hog. And uh, that's when um, I met uh, uh, Mike Simon. Was that his? What was his name? Uh, Michael Simone. Oh, yeah, I met. He, he's the one that ordered it. And he paid me with a goldfish. And while we were on scene, there was a guy who was in like a purple biker outfit. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seemed like kind of a degenerate drug addict. And Snow says, yeah, we need to be careful. That sounds a lot like, uh, what was the guy you were talking about? Reed Dankley. Yeah, Reed, Reed Dankley. He said, that sounds exactly like Reed Dankley. Um, we couldn't get permission to go undercover because there was no uh, high command around. So I ended up having to do a delivery in my police car. I said, hey, you know, I'm just cleaning this up as a side job. But yeah, pretty sure he's, we got some solid information on Reed Dankley from that. Impressive, Trevor. Yeah, not too bad. I shot a guy in the head yesterday. Did he deserve it? Uh, I can't, I was uh, the only one that responded to a bank at Legion Square. And as I pulled up, I witnessed... Conor McGregor shoot a hostage in the head and attempt to run what? out. What? Yeah, I shot. Uh, I shot. I started shooting at his car. Um, a second officer showed up. She also shot, and uh, we disabled his car. He ran up on a roof, um, climbed a ladder, aimed his gun at me, and took one shot. But uh, unlucky for him, you know, extensive firearm training. My last job in San Fierro. I ended up just 
shooting him in the head once and incapacitating him. Well done, Trevor. Are you Suck dead? That bitch. Suck no, great news. He received the finest medical you could receive in uh, Los Santos, and he ended up living. I did I did get him on that, though. I sent him up for uh, robbery of a financial institution. Very good. Very I'm good. Firearm, all of the above. Fantastic. What about the, att the attempt attempted murder? Who? Um, you know what? I I didn't I didn't charge him with attempted murder. Well, not uh, attempted second second degree murder for the gentleman, but not on a government employee. Oh no no yeah that's I understand yeah because that's I okay. absolutely smoked and rolled him so bad you know just the <laughs> guilt of uh, having a cadet <laughs> take you down. He's got to live with that for the rest of his life, you know. Yeah, I mean that's. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it was obviously second. I was able to articulate um, from what he said. He said he just picked up the hostage. And, Bitland, uh, thank you for the seven months, you know, buddy. Like it was planned. I appreciate you. No forethought given. Yeah, I wonder why. I, don't know, I wonder if the, the guy was running his mouth. I don't know. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of community yeah. service as well. Really? Yeah, you want to see? Uh, you want to see some of my works in the action? Or some? Yeah. Yes, please. Some? Okay, perfect. All right, let's go. Uh, Go check out a payphone. Pay payphone. Yeah. Right, yeah this is how Copper and I get our work done. I don't know. Yeah, Copper and Snow have been taking well, me out a lot, rude, kind of uh, showing me the ropes, my, my teaching me the ways business. here in Los Santos. That's some good teachers. Yeah. Dainty day for the twenty-two march. No, that's really fun. Well. Dispatch five twenty. You know, there's 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 a payphone right to the right here. The other female was definitely kind of a dog. She had the chin and everything. Uh, what about you? How long have you been the NSG for? I've been the NSG for about two, three months now. Not long at all. If I'm honest, Trevor, um, I didn't have any command experience beforehand. So uh, this is all very brand new for me. <laughs> How's it been going? It's... Uh... Able to get it's kind of been like to trying time. to fly a jet when all I've ever done is ridden a bike. Trying to herd cats, huh? You want to for a yeah, it's a, it's a lot. It's it's not the same job. Um, but it's it's not right too now. bad. It's not as bad as I, I thought it it was gonna go. Yeah. We've had some people, you know, leave. We've had some people come, but gonna, uh, I think. I think I've rules going pretty well. Try to get as much as I it's the payphone. Oh, I see it. Yep. Just have to make sure I'm not parked in the red. Buy the book, you know. Buy the book. Okay, come on. This is how we do it. Now we're big, you know, big on community outreach in the uh, LSPD. So, um, you know, I, I hope this is good. No, this is uh, this is how we get Copper and I got. We ended up getting a bus yesterday over it. Working on a potential raid on somebody named Elfie Ling, and it all started with a payphone. Okay. 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 Tails, if you're close, get the fuck out of here. Um. All right. Let me see here. So what I do basically, I'll run you through this. Is uh, I start going through the yellow pages. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I end up calling, uh, oh, yeah, go through the yellow pages and I find a random person, right? And I see what they're, mm -hmm. what they're advertising. Um, Did you get a mm. you? oh, here's a good one. Let me see if we got anyone else okay. before I call this number. He went pretty close. I think that's him. He's got a beard, right? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right, got one. He had scars, kind of like what he has. Um, I'm not sure though. That it's a, uh, when I give that call, I think that's him. Um, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try and get more confirmation. Okay. What do you want me to do? Oh, there's a judge in there, right? Who is this, Zach? Cross, yeah, it's cross. All right, stand by. <laughs> I'm trying to order some chili from your dumbass motherfucker. I want you to eat chili out of my asshole and call it a sting ring. Give me some chili, you dog shit, Southside motherfucker. They're all back inside now. 